At IFA this year, there weren't too many new smartphone launches as most companies released them in the earlier events. But we did get to see the world's first phone with a 4K screen. This was the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. The screen looked really sharp on this and the metal and glass design looked good in the new gold variant. There is also the new Xperia Z5 which comes with a full HD screen. Both the phones are expected soon. Lenovo also had some new Vibe series phones and our pick of the lot was the Vibe S1 which looked really premium in its design and pretty compact with a 5 inch full HD screen. But its highlight was its selfie feature. The first phone to come with two front facing cameras, one at 8 megapixels and the other at 2 megapixels. So when you click a shot, you could do stuff like blur out the background or transform yourself to another place. Cool trick, but maybe gimmicky for some. Moving on to tablets, Lenovo had a new lineup of Yoga 3 tablets. They come in two sizes, 8 inches and 10 inches. And the big deal is the improvement in design over its previous generation. The hinge now incorporates an 8 megapixel camera which can be rotated to almost any angle. The flagship device in the series is the Tab 3 Pro, which comes with a much sharper 10 inch screen and includes a projector like the previous generation. But it has a new place in the hinge which allows it to be positioned at the ceiling as well. And it includes Dolby certified speakers which do sound pretty loud. We also saw the new Acer Predator that's shipping out in November for $300. This new tablet will get a lot of attention from gamers. Sure, it's got a full HD screen and great specs to churn out smooth graphics, but the real deal is the tactile feedback that you get while gripping the device from the sides, just like game controllers. In the gaming zone, there was a new lineup from Lenovo from desktops to laptops, including some new accessories like a gaming mouse and a headset. Some of it will be making its way to India soon. Then at IFA, we also came across some new stuff like food printers and portable 3D scanners that can scan an object in a matter of seconds, ready for a 3D print. Who says cool can't get weird sometimes, especially when we came across this hat. This one fires up lasers on your head to promote hair growth. Well, we weren't too sure about trying it yet. It was the drones and bots that were the biggest crowd pullers. Meet Beam, the telepresence bot that you can control with your computer and a web camera through an internet connection. Hey Mark, do you have a sec? Absolutely. I heard there's an issue with the hinge mechanism. I actually have to You can talk. talk to people and control its movement. You can be at two places at the same time. It's got great potential for a virtual classroom or even industry applications where control is important. In the future of robotics where things are driven by AI, Beam seems to be a good solution where human interface is still important. And our favourite from the bots was the new BB-8 from Star Wars. This is developed by the same team that made the Sphero. The BB-8 is controlled by a smartphone and tablet and can be moved in any direction. Plus it's loaded with features that Star Wars fans would love. It's got a patrol mode and an automatic drive mode. Hi BB-8! And it can even do holographic projections on the app just like in the movie. Apart from that, the BB-8 can also say yes or no when you ask it a question and it can even get moody at times. This is already available in stores for $150.